the powered wheelchair race offered real rally character. That's technology pushed to the limit. The newly designed task ramp and door is solved in different ways. The pilots use various robotic aids to open the door. What a variety of gripper arms! Florian Hauser from the Swiss team HSR Enhanced is the big favorite for the victory. Florian has won the Cybertron 2016 and also the wheelchair series taking place in Kawasaki last year. As usual, he succeeds in showing a great race. As expected, Florian qualifies for the top four. But was the performance good enough to win? Florian's big challenger is Yuri Larin from the Russian team Caterwill. He is also fast on track. Yuri and Florian are good friends, but also tough competitors. Yuri masters the stairs without any problems. Like Florian, he also qualifies for the top four. Who else will make it into the top four? There are four teams from Japan who have ambitions. Here the team CIT from Chiba with pilot Taketsu Abe. This wheelchair looks like a tank, but seems to have a great suspension. It rolls really smoothly over the rough terrain. But then, before the tilted path, a technical problem. The wheelchair stands still. The team has to stop and therefore ends up on the seventh and last place. Another team from Japan is called OECU and Artex and comes from Osaka. Pilot Toshiki Ogura solves the first task quickly. Other teams lose more time here. But Toshiki's wheelchair cannot climb stairs. A disadvantage that costs the team 18 points and thus the place in the top four. What about the RT movers from Wakayama? The team with pilot Morita Masanori is racing in the corridors of the university. Their preparation was difficult because the team manager is currently working as a guest professor in Zurich and has not been training with the team. But communication seems to have worked well. The team solves the task smoothly and quickly. Reaching the last task with the door, it gets really tight. Look at the rear wheel on the right. The orange wheel cover falls off. But the performance is enough for the top four. The last Japanese team to compete is Fortissimo from Keio. Pilot Hiroshi Nojima is an experienced athlete. As a skier, he has already participated in two Paralympics. This team is strong, but has a lot of trouble on the stairs and thus loses a considerable amount of time. In the end, however, the team lives up to the expectations and qualifies for the top four. Hiroshi snatches Christian Rosterholz last place in the top four. The Swiss pilot from Team Skevo can solve all the tasks, but spends the most time in doing so and therefore finishes fifth. Christian loses important seconds at the door. Too bad for him that the door closes and he has to start again. However, Christian has no trouble closing the door. That looks very elegant. A nice finish to his race. Here's the ranking. At the bottom two Japanese teams. In contrast to the more successful teams, these two were not able to solve all the tasks. Christian Rusterholz ends up fifth, although he was able to solve all the tasks. In the top four are, in alphabetical order, as expected, the two favorites Florian Hauser and Yuri Larin. Their competitors are the Japanese drivers Hiroshi Nojima and Morita Mazanori. Will the favorites be victorious or will we see a surprise?